Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert, producer of InsideSuccessRadio.com, and I invite you to take a moment and listen to this powerful interview segment so you can be more proactive and successful. Let's return to the path to triumph with the Inside Success Show. Welcome back to the Inside Parenting Success Show. This is Jody Lynn, and I'm talking today with Kathy and Frank James, co-authors of The Journey is More Than the Designation, How a Christian Family Dealt with Grief After the Loss of Their Daughter. I have to ask you guys something. How did you come up with such a powerful title? That title has a story all of its own. <laughs> um, you know, very honestly, it came from Valerie. And she was always going and busy and doing this and doing that. And I'd say, now, what a, what's the end result of this? And what's going to happen? And where are you going? And what's the deal? And she would always say to me, oh, you know, Mom, that's just not important. It's, it's, it's not the destination. It's the journey. It's, what, it's, it's just me getting from here to there. And... She was more in tune to, you know, what's happening than what's going to happen once I get there. Well, it was a 48-hour suit. It was what? The 48-hour suit, the suit she had to build in 48 hours. Yeah, definitely. She, uh, I, we tell it in the book, she was an amazing seamstress. And she would also, uh, she had a suit done, lined, ready to go. And she tried it on about uh, three, four days before judging. And this is in 4-H. And I was over there with her. And she was kind of short of stature. She was only about 5, 5, by 6. And she uh, tried on the jacket. And she had drawn some in the arm length and through the waist. And so the leader, the instructor said, uh, this just isn't going to work. And we had a couple different avenues that we could have chosen. Getting out of the particular category was number one, probably on my list. So I said, oh, no, 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 going to make another one. So <laughs> we, she said, and you have to understand, I do not sew. And so this was kind of a stressful situation for mom. And a little kid went over, her and I went over on a Saturday morning. And she had the material and the lining. And in 48 hours, she had a brand new jacket. Now, that's probably not a happily ever after story. Because after seven or eight hours of watching her do this and stressing and pinning and doing this and that, you know, she was cool as a cucumber about it. And I was typical mom, kind of fit to be tied over it. And she, and I said, you know, Val, what in the world is the deal? And she's oh, mom, you know. It's it's a journey of doing this. It's it's not it's not ending up. Well, she she took that then. She completed yeah. she completed the whole suit in forty eight hours. She won the county, and she went down to the state fair, state of Indiana, and she made top fifteen. Yeah. And wow. Afterwards, uh, her and her mom were talking about what a Herculean effort it was, and everything she had her surmise. And Barry says, yeah. And if I had to do it again, I'd do it all yeah, over. Yeah, she said, you know what? If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it exactly the same way. <laughs> well, I walked away thinking, boy, I sure wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that was when she said, it's not the destination that's important. It's the journey. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's basically. And that's where the title we, was. We, we, yeah. it, it couldn't be any other name. Because that was, that was, her, that was her life. It wasn't the destination. It wasn't that it was 17 years and six months. It was the journeys, and and we she affected for a little girl 17 years and six months. She affected someone far more than most 80 year old people. She affected so many people. Wow. Now, do you believe that people can actually get over the death of a child, and and is there such a thing as closure? I do not believe the closure. Everybody, that is a, that is a, kind of, it's kind of become a pet peeve. I do not believe in the concept of closure. Everybody I've talked to 
who is a bereaved parent, doesn't accept it. Only the people, the only people I've ever encountered who promote the concept of closure are academics who have never buried a child, have never suffered that loss, and they compare the loss of the child to that of a favorite uncle or something because that's the only way they can, they can try and conceptualize. Hi, this is Dr. Proactive, Randy Gilbert. Thank you for listening to InsideSuccessRadio.com. Now I want to invite you to listen to this entire interview for free. All you have to do to get VIP access is to type in the link as you see it below. In addition to this powerful interview, you'll be able to hear many other of your favorite celebrities such as Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Zig Ziglar, and dozens of others. Plus, there are thousands of dollars in valuable bonus gifts. Just.